Hey guys, it's me and Glam Goat. Glam. <laughs> and the little pink princess dragon. Hello, everybody. How are ya? Today, we're doing eyeshadow. Meh. Hooda. 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 Meh. Okay, so it's true. We're gonna do just a little kind of a, you know, get ready with me Hooda little thing. So, you guys, I just need to play with this palette a little bit more. And what the heck, while I'm doing that, I might as well be talking with you guys. So here's the palette. We just got her in the Boxy Premium. It's uh, made by Huda. And there's like some, there we go. Sometimes that light just makes it real hard to see anything. Um, I've already done my primer. So let's go in with, I'm going to use this. The lightest of the matte green, and that's going to kind of go in. I wonder if I can just use this one. Ooh. In the crease. Huh. Might be able to. So. Are you guys still getting boxy charm? You know, what are you thinking about it? You know, I this month was really not a bad box as far as my premium was concerned. I did get some really nice things. I think one of my problems is I've just been getting these subscriptions so long that I just have so much stuff, you know, um, I mean, I'm excited about this because I, this is a little different from anything else that I have, but, uh, it's really hard to get, unless it's just a brand that's a really good brand that I really like or something, um, it's hard to get an eyeshadow palette that I can't dupe pretty much everything in the palette. Because I've got one, two, three, four, five large drawers full of eyeshadow palettes. Like, I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm totally not kidding. Now, see, I get this far and I'm happy. This, this I think, looks pretty darn good. And this is kind of where I mess up. So I think what I'm going to do is, I forgot to take my allergy pills for a couple of days, and I am paying for that now. Just seriously. Like, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. And then, oh, I'm going to spend the next hour dripping all over your foundation. Thank you. Okay, um, the thing that I keep doing is I keep trying to find something to do with this matte brown, and I need to stop, but no, I'm going to do it again. <laughs> All right, come on. Where is my My brush that I always use for this. There she is. Okay. All right. We're going to use a, a Luxie Packer. And I'm going to use that brown matte right here. And I'm going to use this in the outside corner. Just a little bit. Maybe I've just been overdoing it. I don't know. It's like where when I add the brown, that's when it gets like stupid. <laughs> so 
I'm just going to go a little bit just to kind of deepen that outside and, you know, give the appearance of a wider eye that goes out, you know, comes away from each other a little bit. Uh, you know, that's why they call it cosmetics because it's a cosmetic effect. It's an optical illusion. That's what we're creating. It's always nice to put on color. But when you figure out where the shades look best, you're probably creating some kind of an, a little bit of an illusion that, you know, attracts the better part features and distracts from, you know, you're not as better. Not as better. Oh, okay. Y'all know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Okay. So... I think I need a mirror that's a little bit, oh yeah, a little bit bigger. Okay, so, I don't know, this might actually do something. All right, um, oh, where is my towelage? I'll tell you what, I have so much to do today and I can tell already. I think my eyebrows turned out pretty good today, though. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go in with this matte, the darker of the greens. And I'm going to go on the, the lid with that. Now, here's been, like, the first issue that I came out with was that that beautiful and that beautiful are really shimmery but they're more like toppers they're not really like if you put them on by themselves you're gonna get the shimmer and you might get a little bit of like a uh uh like a sheen of a look you know green but you really it's it's not it's not going to do it by itself. So I'm going to go in with this darker one. Yes, I am. Ooh, did I? No, I didn't. And, uh, wow. These feel really nice. Okay, and the towel, which is... I need to just put on my lap so that it's where I can find it because, you know, can't find it when it's sitting right beside me, right? So have you guys seen this new Wild West palette by Urban Decay? I mean, seriously, my first, when I first looked at it, I was like, oh, I want it, you know, but no, I'm, that's not on my plan for the year <laughs> for this year no but uh then after I started looking at the each shade like individually again there are only a couple of shades in there that I don't already have and for the most part it's kind of a dark palette and I don't know why it speaks to me because I don't really do a lot of darkness. I'm going to go in there again with this darker of the greens and just kind of come up in the crease a little bit more because I feel like I feel like I need to do that. <laughs> Uh-huh. So, I don't know. Is there a store open near you? Have you been able to go and look at that palette? Although, I do have, uh, which one do I have? I have the Naked Honey, and she's nice. I mean, I, I got it on sale. And, you know, that's the other thing with Urban Decay. I do like the Urban Decay eyeshadows but um 
they do dry up quickly as compared to some of the other brands. You know, when they say two years, they mean it. Uh... Okay, not bad. And, uh, I don't know. I just, they, they do, if you wait, get on their, their email list and you wait, I, I'm telling you, in three months, that's probably going to be half price. Like, seriously. Okay, we're going to go with the... The shimmer that has the brown running through it. And I'm going to put that right on top of the lid. And you're not going to be able to really see it. There's what she looks like. Okay. So, yeah, it doesn't have a lot of pigment. But when you put it, use it as a topper. Ooh. Okay, now just looking right here in my mirror, this looks really pretty. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that on the monitor or not. You would think with this, all this light I've got going on here now that shimmers would show up really well, wouldn't you? Look at that. She is so pretty. Ooh. Mm, mm. And you know, I'm not really a green girl, but, um, the pink one, I didn't get the pink one. And maybe I should have just so that I would have a trio, but on the other hand, like, I need to stop doing that. Oh no, I need to buy the, the third one, just even if I'm not going to use it, just so that I have it. You know, I, I need to stop that, seriously. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. Can you see the, the beautifulness? Okay, and then we are going to go with my little Alamar green brush. Woo! That is perfect for just doing that inside corner. And we're going to take this kind of green gold reflect right here i gotta be careful with this one because it seems to me i got a little crazy with it the last time and she went wild on me and i'm just going to do like the inside corner edge corner the little v there And then you know what? I think I'm going to go back with my first brush. I'm going to go in that same shade. Or no, no. I'm going to go in the center shade. It's not really silver, but it's kind of like a, I don't know, maybe champagne sort of a color. And I'm going to use that to just kind of highlight under the brow. Under... Is where that little arch area is. Okay. And then comes the fun part. Blend! Okay, and I think I'm going to go back in with the Luxie and that brown matte. And do these little outside corners again, just because I sort of lost some of that. And again, not too much, because, hello? Blending, blending, blending. Get some of that off of the brush, because, yeah. I just want to deepen it. I don't want to really turn it brown 
or like a, you know, green brown. Okay, that looks all right. Almost. <laughs> uh, to be young and not have any wrinkles to have to deal with. That's the thing is, you know, I don't really mind the wrinkles. It's getting makeup to not, you know, to, to go on evenly. Because every time a wrinkle folds over, then you end up with a spot that does not get makeup on it. And such a pain in the booty. Such a pain in the booty. You know, that's that's the problem with the wrinkles. I don't care about what, you know, just wrinkles by themselves. But yeah, I'm 60 years old. If I didn't have wrinkles, then that would mean that, number one, I didn't really do anything. And number two, I probably had work done on my face because how do you get to be 60 and not have a wrinkle somewhere? Now, I would love to. If I had the money, the hoods would be gone. I would have that shit surgically done because hoods, yeah. Whole facelift. I would be good with that. Something with this neck. Uh, you know, look at that. Look. Grandma. Mom. Grandma. Mom. <laughs> you know, and then being overweight doesn't help, but I'm not, like, obesely overweight, but I will never be a skinny person because I really enjoy food. It's one of the pleasures in life that I have and while I don't eat to excess a lot of the stuff that I eat is maybe not necessarily you know yeah okay um I'm gonna put on some liner and some uh mascara I'm not gonna mess around with lashes today because seriously I'll get, I'll be putting on a lash and sneeze in the middle of it, and there will go the whole works, right? So, I'm going to put you on hold, and I will be right back. Okay, so, um, put down my mirror. Once again, this was the Huda Pastel Mint. They're pastel, so they're going to be pastel. They're not going to be, you know, non-pastel. <laughs> But, what do you think? <laughs> Facelift. Mom. Grandma. Mom. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. I need to stop. <clears throat> Ooh. So, yeah. I kind of... I'm going to leave this on because, yeah. I'm on a mission today. I got a million things to do. Um... If y'all are still here, that's good because we're going to have Goat Give Day and I managed to actually get down in here enough. Okay. Most of the time I throw, sometimes I don't, but most of the times I throw extra stuff in here. Um, one of the things that we're going to have is going to be this little brush set. It's still enclosed. <clears throat> Let me show you by Glamere. Yes, I bought it at a BoxyCharm thing. Oh well. Um, I got one for me and they were really reasonable so I got one for you. These are the brushes with the just the, the prettiness. <laughs> you know? Okay, I need to just not even get started. Um, Looks like there's a nice little smudgy brush, or I use this a lot of times just to do the inside corners with. Um, there's a nice uh, blender in here. I haven't used them yet, as you can tell. Um, there's a, a packer, or this is the brush that I like to use for my crease, actually. And then uh, this is like an eyeliner or... You know, just a little detail brush, whatever it is you want to do with that. Eyeliner, eyebrow, eyeshadow, hello. A lot of times if you want to add a little bit of liquid, with setting spray, whatever, and then put your eyeshadow on, you can do those really uh, precise, you know, like lines. That's a good brush for that. Anyways. 
Here you go. That, that's going to be in our giveaway. Um, then we have the Esmeralda 1 and the Esmeralda 2. Yeah, I had the two, and I was like, that's stupid. Why do I have two and not one? So I got the one to put with the two so that I could give you guys both of them. And here is number one. She is a little bit, uh, a little more neutrally. There's some cool shades. There's some warm shades. You know, I wish that the close-up on my camera would come out better. But, okay, that's not bad. That, that shows it. There's a, some nice, like... Here's a dark olive green color. Here's a, a nice green. Um, and there are some shimmers. I don't see any pressed glitter. There's a lot of mattes in here. Here's a nice little transition shade. Um, she's got a little mirror. Seriously, it's a nice little palette. I was thinking about you guys. And, of course, I'm going to waste much time putting it back in there because y'all know that's how I am. And then here's the number two. And this is by Beauty Creations. And if you can see, the O in the shuns is a heart. It's, like, very cute. Okay, and the number two, you've got a little more color and shimmer in this one i actually think that these two palettes would work nicely together or by themselves either way they're just they're nice you know couple um you know you've got some bronzes uh gold the purple there's a purple right there now that that might be now it's purple <laughs> so I was like that might be dark blue no it's purple a really dark rose gold or gold a really dark rose pink um there's another you know this one's a matte they're really i was tempted to keep this one but you know how much how long have i been doing i don't even know how long when did i start the you know monthly palette change I'm not even halfway through my palettes yet, so I think it's ridiculous for me to keep anything that I'm not really in love with. And while I like both of these, you know, am I going to reach for Jeffree Star and Glamlight, or am I going to reach for these? Yeah. Um... But I do. I think that you guys will like them. Um, the reviews are not bad. They're, you know, it's good makeup. So there's these two. Plus, the brand new brush is still in the packaging. And, of course, you know, I will probably throw in a few more things. But you got eyeshadow. You got brushes. There's a start right there. Um, in order to enter this, and I have a whole sheet that explains... Uh, and it's buried because, you know, I just redid my entire, my God, I should have got this out before I even did this, huh? Okay. <laughs> View. View the whole, the whole, uh, video, please. Hit the like button. I'll know if you don't hit the like button. And make a comment appropriately on this video. Subscribe and have your channel set to public because if you're not a subscriber, you're not going to win. And if I can't go to your channel and verify that you are a subscriber, you're not going to win. <laughs> you have to be 18 years old and you have to be in the continental USA. The price of postage, woohoo! And I am out of employment at the moment, so, you know, I just can't afford to do any more than I can't even afford to do this, but what the heck we're gonna do it okay uh you may get extra entries by watching liking and commenting using clues hidden in future videos basically what you do is you watch future videos and somewhere in that video i'll say hey if you want to get an extra entry on you know the goat give day i'll tell you you know uh, a word or an icon and then you come back to this video 
go to your original, don't make another comment, go to your original comment and put it in a reply with whatever that, you know, icon, emoji, blah, blah, blah. In the future videos, uh, blah, 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 YouTube is in no way responsible, has nothing to do with this. Just no, YouTube, no, no. They, this is between you and me and YouTube, she don't have nothing to do with it. Once mailed, all responsibilities are over. I cannot guarantee postage safety. And usually the products that I'm giving away are not products that I can just go out and repurchase. Um, obviously, if you get your, your giveaway and it's demolished, please let me know. I will try to do something, but I can't replace the exact things that I am, you know, giving out. Um, rules may be changed or added at my discretion. <laughs> okay, there's my whole, my whole goat give thing. Um, you know, you have to watch because I am not going to put in my titles that there's a goat give day. Um, uh, I might. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. But, you know, this is for the people that actually watch. It's not for the people that are just going around looking for giveaways, you know? Um, and YouTube kind of frowns on it anyways, but I just, I have so much that I feel it's only share, you know, fair to, like, share some. So, there's that. So, for today... Make a comment and, you know, don't be obvious about it so that somebody watching doesn't go, oh, look, you know, everybody just put that in there. Use it in a sentence or something. You know, come on, be a little, a little nonchalant, you know. And today's icon, word, or emoji, can be any one of the three, is going to be butterfly, butterfly. So, with that said... I really, I got to tell you, I'm liking this palette a lot better than I thought I was going to. I ordered the lilac from the, what is it, pop-up this month. And that's the only thing left. I'm waiting to come in the mail from BoxyCharm this month. I can't wait to get that and try it out. And by the way, these earrings, you guys can see these earrings. Yeah, okay, whatever. These earrings came from the BoxyCharm uh, pop-up, whatever. I've been wearing these pretty much daily. I have some kind of bigger, louder ones, but they're not, you know, everyday ones. These ones are pretty much, they, they're nice quality. They're a little bit, like, they're not heavy, but they're not, like, light cheap, you know? You know what I'm saying? And they do not cause any kind of irritation. One of the things that cheap earrings do to me is they make my ears itch. I'm not getting that with these, and they're not losing, there's no discoloration of the actual earring from all the use they've been getting, and there's certainly no, like, you know how some things will, cheap metal will turn your skin green kind of a thing, I'm, I'm not getting that either, so... If you like the earrings that are on BoxyCharm, these are, I think they're called Zane, is the brand, I know it begins with a Z, this particular brand, um, I, you know, I say if you want them, get them. They're, they're not humongously expensive. They're not real cheap, but, um, yeah, I just, the dragon just flew away. But, you know, they, they come right to your door. So, at least you don't have to, like, go to TJ Maxx and find them, you know? <laughs> so, so whew, save yourself a little gas money, right? And, you know, less exposure to the, the COVID. So, okay, guys. And subscribe to the channel. Hey, if you don't subscribe, you're not going to be in the giveaway. And, you know, the more subscribers, the more friends. I love to see your comments. I love to see new people because that's a new friend. I love to see the mainstream people that have been with me because, hey, buddy. Love you. <laughs> you know? Um, I appreciate your support so much. I just, I can't even explain to you how much I appreciate your support. So come and join us 
three times a week. You know, little makeup tutorials, little try-ons, little giveaways, little unboxings. Seriously, anything you want to mention in the comments that I am possibly can cover, I will do it. I love beauty, um, so I'm definitely there for that. Meh. Like us, meh. Hey, the little goat, he don't have a thumb, so he needs your thumb. Please. Hit the thumbs up if you like the content. If you don't like the content, you don't like the goat, you don't like the dragon, you don't like the headband, you don't like the old lady, you don't like the green makeup, then hit the thumbs down. But, you know, one or the other, give me a thumb. It's not hard. Just boom yeah, There she goes. And guys, God bless you all. Stay safe. Wear your mask. And until the next time, wake up dancing, wake up dancing, ba -ba -ba wake up dancing every single day. Bye-bye.